All right, so you guys want to know my biggest pet peeve? Number one, right here. When people pull up into the grass, oh, it just kills me. WTF, bro. There's a curb here for a reason. You don't even need to park on the curb, park at the bottom of the curb. Why do people feel like they need to park in the grass? I mean, the curb is there to park next to. Not park on the curb, park below at the bottom of the curb. But we actually have other matters to tend to today. Nuts Edge. Hey -o. Welcome back everybody. Today we are continuing on tackling the issues that were brought on by the ridiculous amounts of rain that we've been having. So not only did we have brown patch, but I have also got nuts edge here um, and all up through here. Um, and so if you see this lighter colored grass, I have a pretty dark um, variety of tall fescue. And then you see these lime green uh, patches right here. That is nuts edge um, and just looks ugly. So nuts edge loves to be wet. It kind of grows mostly in places that hold a lot of water and like I said we've had a ton of water the past few weeks and so the nuts edge is just kind of running rampant right now um, and I did not weed eat these right here I cut these I actually just cut these yesterday and uh, they're growing a lot faster than the rest of the grass and so they stick up a lot higher a lot more noticeable which is awful just so I could show you um, this right here I'm gonna pull one of these out and show you I do not recommend you trying to pull out your nuts edge um, don't pull out your nuts edge in any situation um, and I mean that truthfully um, because how nuts edge grows um, is by tubers or at the bottom they have a little nut just a little round ball um, and it's almost impossible to get that out of the ground and so if you do not um, pull that out of the ground with it uh, it's pretty much gonna get pissed um, and it's just gonna keep shooting stuff up and it's gonna your problems just gonna get worse and so um, I've seen people who think they're doing an awesome job they come out here and they pull a ton of nuts edge out but they don't get the nut out with each of them and then it just comes back like five times worse so do not do that but for the sake of this video I'm gonna pull one of these out so if you see I did not get the nut all right, so Nuts Edge is kind of a thinner blade, but it does have that groove in there that's kind of a triangular shape. Um, and so that's just kind of how you know it's Nuts Edge. This is a yellow Nuts Edge. Yellow Nuts Edge is a lime green color. There's also purple Nuts Edge, which is a darker green color, I believe. Um, but I've got yellow Nuts Edge in my lawn here. So it's scattered out throughout here. Um, got it in this corner right here got some down in that corner usually the nuts edge grows in this corner down here because my entire yard from over there it slopes down that way and then up here I've got a slope that all slopes that way so all the water runs right to that corner and that's where it kind of sits so I've got nuts edge over there and then I've got a few areas I believe scattered out throughout the front yard front and side yard uh, but not nearly as bad as back here so we're gonna go ahead and talk about what we're gonna use uh, to take care of this nuts edge and uh, we're gonna get to sp some spraying so let's get to it All right, so I've got my one gallon jug here, pump sprayer, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then the product I'm going to be using is this Sedge Hammer Plus. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this. I actually picked this up from my local tractor supply store, uh, Rural King. Um, and so if you have one of those, you may be able to pick this up locally. If not, I will link it in the description below. I believe this was like $7 for this one pack. Um, you can also get the Ortho hose in sprayer nuts edge killer um, that could be another option but my store didn't have it um, and so basically this product right here it comes with one little pack in here and you mix this with one gallon of water 
and then you spot spray the uh, places that you need. So if you have a ton of nuts heads, you may have to blanket spray. So you may need more than one pack, but one pack will do it for me. And so on this, um, it says it kills yellow and purple nuts edge, so it should be good for both. Um, and it says it's safe to establish turf if you use it as directed. Um, so the three steps, it says easy three-step applications. We'll see how easy it is. It says pour this one pack in one gallon of water. Pretty simple. Uh, mix it and spray. And it's rain fast in four hours. So don't spray this within four hours of getting rain. Um, but it says uh, non-ionic surfactant is not needed. So surfactant is gonna help, oh no. Did you just see that chipmunk? Ran right in here. We're gonna have to take care of that later. God, son of a. I believe I was talking about the surfactant. Surfactant's gonna help the product stick to the grass blade so it gets absorbed better and it gets a better kill, basically. Um, and so there is already one added to this. So you no longer have to add a surfactant to this product right here. It says adding additional surfactant to the spray will have detrimental effects. Detrimental, that's pretty, uh, pretty serious. Kind of makes me want to add it just to see what happens. So this package says that it kills nut sedge down to the root nutlets. 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 Hmm. All right, so we got everything mixed up. So we're just gonna go around and spray the spots that have the nut sedge. And if you have not seen my video on how to kill weeds in the lawn, I'll link it. Um, or maybe you can click up here, I don't know, however that stuff works. Um, and you can watch that. So we don't want to absolutely soak it. We just want to spray until they're a little bit moist. So, moist, moist. All right, so we came, we saw, we sprayed. And that's all we're gonna do today. We are gonna check back in in a week. It says a seven to 14 days you should see results. And if you don't see very uh, good results at 14 days, you may have to reapply. And so if you have a really bad nut sedge infestation, a lot of nutlets, um, you may have to reapply. So I don't have it that bad and I got on it pretty early. Um, so I'm hoping this will take care of it one time, one and done. So. Uh, we'll check in in seven days and see how we're doing. All right, so we're back on day 12 and let's have a look-see. Do you remember on day seven, um, they were yellowing, but they were still a little green. So here is day 12. Um, and if you can see this, um, they are pretty much completely yellow. And that is what we like to see. Completely yellow and turning brown. Um, and they are struggling. So especially these ones that I've mowed since I sprayed, they are really checking out. Do not pull them out. Um, just let them be, continue to mow, and they'll go away on their own. So we used Sedge Hammer Plus to get rid of that, and it worked really, really well. If you have more than nut sedge in your lawn, say you have crabgrass, you have clover, uh, nimblewill, any uh, other things, Tenacity will also work for all of that, including nut sedge. Much higher price tag, but this will last you a long time. Um, if you want the Sedge Hammer Plus, go to your big box store, or I will link in the description below where you can order online. With that, that's all we've got. That's how you kill nut sedge. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Looks like we've got some competition moving in down the street. They, uh, they're building a new house, three houses down that way, and they just laid new sod today. So we're gonna see if we can get a closer look and uh, see how we're doing. They're coming in at a perfect time since my yard is having all these issues. So let's get a closer look. How you doing? Good, how you doing Looks good. What kind uh, did you put down, do you know? Uh, so we'll put the about four, so we'll go check that off about four. 
Yeah, I didn't know if you knew what kind of grass you put down. Is it Kentucky bluegrass um, or is it tall fescue? Yeah, it's some kind of a, um, it's not official. It's, um, it's all real, but it's, uh... Looks good. Yeah. Yeah, they just got to doing this this morning. Okay. I like it. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Looks good. Keep it up. Good work. That guy had no clue. <laughs> Next level domination right here. This is how you pick up poop, people. <laughs>